Good day everyone, welcome to my vlog. So my name is Janice D. Alisoso from bstc one b So for today's video, I'm going to talk about my reflection. I'm a map prelim reflection. So let's start. So Rizal plans of coming back home as early as 1884. Rizal wanted to go back to the Philippines for for the following reason, financial difficulties in Calamba, dissatisfaction with his studies in Madrid, desire to prove that there is no reason for going home. His belief that the Spanish regime will not will not punish the innocent decision to return home after five years of his memorable so horn in Europe, Rizal returned to the Philippines. However, Rizal was warned by the following not not to return to the Philippines because his Nolimi Tanghiri angered angered to the to the friars. Rizal was determined to come back to the Philippines for the following reason to to operate his mother's eyes. To serve, to serve his people, and and writing were were affecting Filipinos, Spaniards to inquire why Lino Rivera remained silent. Rizal left Rome by train to Marisals, a French port, and boarded Jemna, the same streamer that brought him to the Euro five years ago. There were fifty passengers, four Englishmen two Germans, three Chinese, and two Japanese, and four Frenchmen, and one Filipino, Rizal. When the ship reached Aden, the weather became raw, and some of Rizal's book got with wet in Saigon. Vietnam, he is transferred to other stream in Haipong that brought him to Manila. This paper of the succeeding of his first novel, Jose Rizal continued to, to wrote novels, his second novel entitled El Filibus, El Filibus Terismo, also known by its English title of Reign of Greed. In his second novel, tackle some issues from the previous novels, which is continues that no limit Harris dedicated dedicated to the affirmation novel for our country especially to the three Marty fairs namely Mariano Gomez Jose Burgos and Jacinto Zamora who are the victims of injustice and violence under The Spanish rule. The main, the main reason of El Filibusterismo enlightened the society of bringing the Filipinos closer to the truth. But whereas in the first novel, we are encouraged to ask and aspire for change and liberation in this novel. The society yearns to open its eyes to reality and rebel against the Spanish government. government. In No Limit Harry, there is aspiration, beauty, romance, and mercy. El Filibusterismo, all the reader will feel its bitterness, hatred, and antipathy. The romance and aspiration are gone. Even the characters, personalities seem to have undergone radical change. This is how different Rizal's second novel is, considering that both were written by the same author, which is Jose Rizal, the plots are poles apart. Rizal arrived in Hong Kong on November 20, 1891. He was welcomed by Jose Maria Baza, his, his residence at number 5, Aguilar Street, number 2, Read Naxala Terrace, and also, this is the permission to return home. On the same date, Manuel Hidalgo sent a lead leader 
telling sad telling sad sad in kalamba he was glad by the arrival of his father bro, brother and Sal, of salvestre obaldo brother in law and not long afterward his mother visit sister losha josefa and trinidad also arrived this Christmas in Hong Kong was one of the happiest celebration on Rizal's life. He he wrote a letter, a letter to Blomentritt, saying he he were all living together, my parents, sisters, and brother, in peace and for my persecution, they suffered in the in the in the Philippines that they are very much pleased with the English government.